This game has really heavy parkour. Oh, so it's like Mirror's Edge, but with guns, but with guns that you use? Yeah. Huh. I, did, uh, I actually didn't parkour? expect that. Is the parkour and controls, are they good? Yeah, but... But? <laughs> uh-huh. Takes some, well, it, it takes some time getting used to it. Uh, hence yeah. tutorial. I've actually never played a game with parkour mechanics, I guess aside from Titanfall. This one's got pretty good ones. Okay. Titanfalls were game maybe a little bit on the easy you. side. Oh yeah, they, they definitely were very dummy mode. Alright. What? What the hell? So I'm gonna run across a crane? Parkour basics. Press and hold space to jump and grab the ledge you're looking at. Remember to look... Oh, okay, let's just use the mouse icon of the ledge you want to grab. I thought it was saying, like, you have to uh, middle mouse click to uh, lock onto something. Okay, I'm... Oh, I run across to the top of the crane, and I fell off the crane immediately. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, b b milliseconds after attempting to get on top of the crane, I fell off of it. I am the world's greatest. Jump to the left and see what happens. And it died. That was fun. I gotta get that shit out of my system. It's a compulsion, man. If I find a cliff to jump off of, I'm gonna jump off of it. It's just... Okay. It's just my brain is just like, I gotta see what happens. I mean, I'm not gonna do it in real life, so I gotta do it in video games just to get it out of my system. I wanna play, I wanna play a game like that. I mean, I guess that's kind of what, uh... I, I guess that's what, like, Just Cause is supposed to be, but, like, I really wanna play a game where it's just, like, literally, here's a big open sandbox. That's literally what to... Just Cause is supposed to be. Yeah, but I could, I wanna do it with multiplayer. Oh, wait, Just Cause is that multiplayer? I didn't know that. Uh, Just Cause 2 is, not yeah, 3. Okay. Let's talk to Raheem. Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, alright? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Okay. I'm gonna jump down to the very bottom. And jump off the... <laughs> and miss. And die. Come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Ah, ah, kind of suck at this part because I can never figure out exactly how I'm supposed to get some of these around. Uh, get around some of these. Oh. There we go. I forgot about this part. Okay, so you're just kind of running now, or is Raheem still uh, yelling at you? Raheem is still yelling at me. I just He just landed on top of a... What the hell am I landing on? Bags of scrap metal? Uh, it's just like, you land, it's like... Kring! It's probably turds. Just nothing uh, the turds. Oh no. Who poops in a trash bag? Hey, if you're desperate. You no, I just poop out the window. There's a million different things before we have to resort to the trash bag. True. Yes. Yes, true. I'm right on this one. I'm not backing down. Poop does not go in <laughs> trash bags. Okay, now I'm just running around. Press C to duck. Oh, we're going to remap that real fast. I think mine's a control. Mm. I have no idea why C, C is, is the... Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh, there are mods for Just Cause 3 multiplayer now. Nice. That's good. Yeah, uh, C for crouching oh. is like... You know, if you want to channel your inner system shock too, and I miss that jump. Huh. Alright. Man, multiplayer mods for single player games are just the best too. Because they're so, yeah. so broken. Not bad. For a noob. Don't call me a noob. Picture my character walking away being like, not a noob. Not lazy and not a noob. Your sister's pretty. 
All right. Uh, I'm at the bottom of an elevator shaft. Yay, zombies. Oh, there we are. I yay zombies or that's usually not people's reaction. I like zombie games. They're fun. That's my favorite. Cat grab and muscle up. You won't survive outside for ten minutes if you can't do that. I don't know what my character is doing, but I believe I'm violating this wall. It's very interesting to me. I've never seen a first-person game that has uh, adventure game controls like this. Oh, you mean like uh, third-person platformer stuff? Yeah, like wall grabbing and like ledge climbing and yeah. things like that. It's, it works uh, well it's, enough. Yeah, it works well enough. It, it is like... Um, I mean, I've seen it in Mirror's Edge, of course, but that was... Um, kind of the whole point of the game was like the control scheme I guess I don't know what I'm trying to say look at another ledge hold well, W yeah, and space to jump at it okay there most, we are most developers don't try and attempt first person platforming too hard just because it's hard it is very difficult all right eh, I made it I think I'm done with the prologue. Okay, yeah, I'm uh I have to pass the parkour test. Uh but I'm at like uh I think I'm at like the past the tutorial y stuff. Okay, that's enough. You've got some serious natural talents, man. Either that you've done this before. You've done this before? Hardly. <laughs> The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. Well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. Oh, I earned Rahim's respect. That's halfway to uh, going out with his sister. What's happening to me? I mean, this entire game is, like, effectively... The main plot is Something trying to woo her. Of course it is. Rahim, what just happened to me? You have to get a level 10 in parkour mastery. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, uh, nameless face guy, soldier. You're so cute you're, and very, very it, good at parkour. The the player player's name, or the character's name is Crane, so... Uh, Crane? <laughs> uh, named after the goose that he killed or the crane that uh, he ran across? Interesting question. Hi, Raheem. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm, I'm turning? Most likely, no. At least not yet. Seizures remind you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antibiotics. Oh, he's got this. He's got a, a scar across his eyebrow, just like Danny Sexbang. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. It's on the wrong eyebrow, though. Five out of ten, Danny sex bang. Would not sex or bang. <laughs> that was stupid. Sick that bay. was stupid. Hi, lady. Wow, you don't look too thrilled to see me. Weird how you still have time to pluck your eyebrows in the zombie apocalypse, but hey, whatever priorities. Oh, I need to go to the elevator to get to the ground floor. Okay, bye. I'm, I guess I'm not going to the sick bay. How do I... How do I take the elevator again? How do you go up to it and press F? Oh, <laughs> it's, it's it on the wrong floor. Did yeah. I fuck up? Oh, come on, game. This map is a confusing pile of angry. Yep, there we go. I've had to go up the other floor to get to the elevator door. Hold F. Okay. Given me an actual job, and nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. 
And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. Dr. Zara, wasn't that the name of the doctor from Planet of the Apes, or am I getting that confused? You might be right. Maybe. Turns out it's just a gorilla wearing a doctor outfit. <laughs> They're just all like, don't, don't say that they're not a doctor or a human or else they get really mad and start flinging poo everywhere. Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. <laughs> By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizin. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you, but don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since wow, this quartermaster is a bigger dick than everybody, and I thought that that was, that was a pretty high bar that he's got to actually cross here. I think there are literally like two people that aren't like kind of douchey in this game. And you'll see people change their tunes on a and hurry. I Jesus, give me your... <laughs> Who are you to fucking judge me? You just gave me, like, a leg off a of a bed frame. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I call this one Cynthia. You better not lose her or else I'm gonna smack you with a, with her sister over here. Uh, Caprice. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> He's got a clipboard? What does it just say? Like, bed legs. Three. <laughs> he just scratches it off and writes two next to it. Yeah, you fucking asshole. Alright. I don't know what I just did. I think I either gave him everything or took everything from him. Point is... He can be as smug as he wants. I'm still gonna hook up with Raheem's sister. <laughs> We've lost too many already. <laughs> ah, the sun! I haven't seen it in 14 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> My neck beard is shriveling up as I speak. <laughs> Alright. Wait, so I need to get a shot of Anthazin from Dr. Zara? But, like, why am I leaving the tower to do that if Dr. Zara's in the tower? No, he's not. Oh, Dr. Zara isn't the, uh, the lady doctor? No, no, Dr. Zara is a dude. Oh, uh, okay. Was it just, like, want his, didn't want to leave his, like, his shop or something like that? Like, no, no, I'm gonna stay right here. Hi, zombies, I'm just gonna, just gonna waltz on by you real fast. Alright, I fucked up. I don't remember. I think I'm done with the tutorial. I think this counts. Hi, right, you think I can climb over the barbed wire fence? Uh, yeah. All right, I made it to Doctor Zara's place, I guess. Okay, he'll talk at you for a little while. That's kind of fun. Doctor, hello. Anybody there? Oh, the movement. Yeah. So I'm supposed yeah, the to movement. The movement's what? awesome. No, no. Oh, I guess I can't go back up. All right. Uh, I guess we have to do Brecken's quick tutorial mission. Okay. I'm sorry. Inevitable. So there's no cure. It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, where did I put that injector? Well, who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if okay. So we have to. Oh, right, we have to trigger the I safe house. I remember now. Okay. It does. It doesn't take too long, okay. unless you're playing with rock war. Oh. 
Yeah, I can't wait to hear that story. <laughs> wow, this guy has the biggest folders on his desktop. Oh yeah, I was, I was looking at that. He's like, he's got like a cartoon laptop. <laughs> he's so big. It's yep. like, I did this so that I wouldn't accidentally double click on my porn folder when other people were looking over my shoulder like you are. And then he actually double clicks on it. He's like, oh, damn it. <laughs> it's just a a picture of a butt, but like <laughs> from like Grey's Anatomy, just a diagram of it. He's like, this is why I became a doctor. This, right here. I fucking love butts. <laughs> All right, first assignment: get a job from Spike. Wow, that's uh. Survive rank up, skill point acquired. You're now a private sergeant, staff master, uh, supreme. With cheese. Oh I god, I don't, I don't, I don't want to rag on this game, but damn if it makes it easy. <laughs> it it's got some it's got some ragging stuff. It's funny. It, I mean, I, I'm not trying to disrespect it, but it is very funny. <laughs> Alright, how do I do? Well, that wasn't it. And I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm fine. Alright, well, we'll try that again. Oh, shit. It was in totally the wrong spot. Oh, no way! You can play hopscotch here? Hey, hey, oh, yeah. do you want to do it? I mean, whoa, hang on, hang on, I came out a little strong there. Do you want to play hopscotch? I don't know. Alright, fine. I'm just gonna go you talk try to, to play hopscotch with a zamble. I'm trying, I'm trying to play it with a, with a dude who's just sitting here with a shotgun. Or, I guess it's an end. Anyway. Spike? Hi, Spike. I'm Crane. Just what I need. More unskilled labor. Shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One is food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. But the trouble is, the airdrops with antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without by the way, this says Skyrim lockpicking. Okay. That's kind of, I actually enjoyed the Skyrim lockpicking. Wait, did I? I feel oblivion to Skyrim lockpicking. next two antizen drops are coming down right at sunset tonight. Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is only problem about it is this is kind of a fast paced game, so it's like, like suddenly emergency. Oh no. Yep. Which I have. Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm okay. those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? Going to be a You'll loot happy game, by the way. Okay. A lot of random remember, crap to grab. Shouldn't traps, be a problem. Brecken won't survive the night. He doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. What the hell is this? Uh, I'm looking at Spike's laptop, and that's clearly source code. The description being like, Now get out of my sight, I gotta program my video game called Dying Light. You've probably never heard of it, though. You heard the man. Firecrackers. You probably don't even play video games. <laughs> I play video games. <laughs> Say that when I'm leaving. I'm not a noob. <laughs> Why is everyone mean to me? I'm <laughs> pressing F. Give me the goddamn firecrackers. Thank you. You have to press it tenderly, man. No. I don't. I don't do tenderly, man. 